All right, guys, back at the hole. Uh, I'm in here probably eight and a half feet now, and it's getting hard to throw dirt out, so I'm going to take this pro here and see if I can hit the bottom and see how far away the bottom is, because if it's real far, then I'm just probably going to widen it instead and dig that way, because it's getting to the point where it's too deep to throw dirt out on my own. So I'm going to clean this out real fast, probe, and uh, then I will let you know if I find anything. Well, I probed and it ended up being like three foot deeper, so in order to dig any deeper, I'm going to have to uh, widen this out so I could uh, keep this stuff here and not dig it. I don't know why my video is acting funny, but anyway, after caving in, I found a wine and I got me a hutch. I don't know where it's from, but... I can probably pick out my hand so it doesn't fall down there. Alright. See what this one is. Trenton Bowling Works, Trenton, looks like it says Missouri, yep, it's either M.O. or M.D., so it's either Missouri or Maryland, never seen that one before, so it's a keeper. Alright guys, got a little mud here, this hole, this cave in them is funner than the actual digging. That looks whole, but it's in there so good. And it looks kind of early too. Whoa, what is this? Something I've never found out thing. Something liver. Sanford's. D. Sanford's liver and Vigator of New York, and damn, it's cracking. Okay, guys, I got an early looking jar. I gotta be very careful with it because that early looking mat I pulled out just started cracking up on me like crazy. And I don't know why, but I gotta be careful because this is even larger than that was. I don't know if this is a jar or what it is, but. I do not want to damage my good early balls I find in here. Whoa. Wow. This is awesome. It has a weird top on it and it says something. Eureka 12 patented December 2nd or 27th 1864. Wow, this is an awesome freaking jar. This is probably a good one. Got some kind of medicine here. Ooh, and there's something above it too. Let's see what this is. Come on out of there. That's embossed. Oh, it's a Kilmer's type bottle. This is a cure remedy. It's a cure. All right. Well, this is a nice looking med. Even if it's common, I'll take it. I'm actually sold out on these. All right, here's all our thing. Let's see what this is. Moving really easy. Yep, it's broken, but if that jar's in good shape, I'll be worth a dig right there. So, I'm already happy if it is good. I just don't want to touch it now because I ain't breaking it. Alright guys, got some balls here. First one's probably a stupid ketchup. The other one looks like a good blob beer. Kind of odd scene side by side. Since this one looks uh it might be a blown one. But anyway, I don't care about that. This is one I'm excited about. And it's looks like it might be in there good because when I jerked on it, 
it didn't want to come out so easy. Looks like an older style bob too. So I'm really hopeful on this one. Let's see what we got here. It's embossed tech, yeah. H. Neehaw, Cincinnati, Ohio. Is it applied? I can't even tell. Looks kind of early though. Has a star on the base. Yeah, I'd say that's probably 1880s at least. I'm happy. I'm keeping that one for sure. If it doesn't crack up on me. Alright guys, got a large mat here. I mean, there's two of them together, but the one's got the top off, so it's junk now. Probably. Unless it's something mega rare. Some large meds, so. Might be golden. Or Pierce's gold medical discovery thing. Or something. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a common $5 med. Alright, guys, got a few bottles here. First is just a broken piece of junk. And the other one is. Some square thing that looks like it's all embossed. Huh. Kind of interesting though. Alright guys, got what looks to be a sewing machine oil. I don't know why my camera is acting up for, but it's acting funny today. Anyway, here it is. What the heck? Huh. It's a blown singer. I've actually never seen a blown one of these. They're almost always machine made. Heck yeah. I didn't notice this, but there is something up here higher. Higher up area. Hopefully it's good enough to be worth caving in because I'm going to have to cave dirt down in an area that I don't really want to cave it in to get this. And it wasn't even worth it. Alright guys, got the croc thing here. Could be just another one of what I have earlier. Yeah, it's looking like it. I'm going to have to clean some of this out to get a better angle. Alright, got cleaned out, or cleaned out around it anyway. So let's see what we got here. There we go. Another monster. Croc. I mean, it's not super big, but I'm not used to finding these this size. They're only like a third of the this size normally. Something here. Some aqua beer. Something. It's a false Schneider from Cincinnati, Ohio. It's common beer. At least in this dump. Alright guys, got something pretty large here. It's got a funny shape to it, like one of them pickle jars, but it's huge. Whoa! This is cool. I don't know what the heck this is, but it's really cool looking. Interesting shape to it and all. Alright, well, I'm going to set it over here so it doesn't crack up or anything, because I don't want to handle it too much. I've never dug anything like that before, though. Alright guys, that's noticed this sticking out. 
At first I thought it was a cup because of the smooth edge, but now I can see it's a jar of some sort. It's a different one, that's for sure. Alright, I think it's ready. Whoa! Another freaking cool jar. Ross Improved Groove Ring Jar. Wow! That's two new jars in one day. Alright, got some type of mud here. Looks like it's probably going to be a Kilmer's. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Alright guys, got something here. It's Aqua. It's a Hutcher. Nope, it's a broken piece of junk. What was that? Yeah, I don't know. Alright guys, I got something shown here. Looks like one of them large crocs again. Um, had a cave in earlier which landed on me. Wasn't too happy about it, but I guess I should be thankful that there was no rocks and bricks mixed in. So I'm going to be trying to guess more of a cave style now on so it is a cave out easy. Another one of these extra large croc things, whatever. I don't know if this is a butter churn type thing or what it is. Ketchup type thing. Let's just get that out of the way. I'm just gonna drop that there. Looks like it probably is gonna be an Indianapolis blob or something. Nope, it's a slick blob. I got something here. Probably one of them milk of magnesia things that's earlier. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Early milk of magnesia. Oh, it looks like a false Snyder from Cincinnati here. top and a broken one at that so all right guys i'm trying to be careful all this stuff looks like it's caving in soon but i keep getting pieces of early looking bottles here i mean early i was in like 1860s early Let's see what this is large amber i think yeah but it doesn't appear to say anything dang it Alright, let's see what this one is. Blob beer, maybe. Yep. It's a slick one, dang it. Alright, guys, here's the results from the two day dig. Got a little pipe there. This Atlas lid thing. That was on the surface. I didn't even dig for that. A fruit jar lid breast pump with a ground top so this is the earliest one I've ever found olive jar I know this is an olive jar because when I dug it it had the label on it but washed off on me I got three of these large size croc things and you could tell how big they are because there's a pint beer right there next to it 
I got blown singer sewing machine oil bottle old bromo major cement of course it's damaged but I've never seen this bottle so take it anyway large size pumpkin seed flask royal luncheon cheese Those are usually round, so I brought that because it's square. Rollway square. That's probably the newest thing I found besides this lid. Burkhard Black and Oil Company. This nice flask here. This turned out to be a common bottle, but it is an early one at least. Different D. Jane's bottle, Dr. King's new discovery. Kilmer's. Dr. Pierce's. Different Kilmer's. I got three crowns and two blobs of false Snyder uh, Brewing Company bottles from Cincinnati, Ohio. Then I got this nice early looking bottle. Florida Water, Rand Landman, Druggist, New York. I'm thinking this is at least 1880s. If not, late 1870s. A couple of these early Milk of Magnesia bottles. So they have to be before 1906 because there ain't no patent date on them. Normally they have a 1906 patent date when they're cork top, but these are blown, so they must be earlier. Then I got this here. It's a Chicago Hutch. I got this hut here, which I don't know what it is. Just has this H and two threes, whatever that means. I think it's somewhere in uh, western Ohio or east central Indiana. Got one of these common balls here, but it's kind of cool looking because it's got that rainbow color to it. Got this nice Indianapolis brewery. They're a little bit hard to find amber. Two aqua ones. I got this nice ale, but it is chipped. But still, as early as it is, it's just a really neat piece. Great looking bottle. Then I got this really nice early condiment, I'm thinking. Sick as heck, but... Oh well, they got a nice H. Nehaus and Company Bob from Cincinnati, Ohio. Applied top. It's an early one. Raw's improved groove ring jar. Has a little hairline crack there, but. Oh, and that's a really good piece. Then I got this jar. It's a Eureka. And you can't even see them bossing on it because of how sick it is. It has a ground lip. And has a crack around the base heel area, but it's still a neat jar. Alright, that is it. Till next time. I'm going to try to brush some of the sickness off these.